CCHE Sign is a revolutionary new application that lets you capture digital signatures across a wide range of client facing and internal documents, including IRS Form 8879, the e file signature authorization form, IRS Form 4506T, request for transcript of tax return, client engagement letters, and internal firm HR documents. Contact your Walters Kluwer account service representative and ask to be licensed for CCH eSign. Licensing for CCH eSign is free, however, there are transaction fees associated with the use of CCH eSign. After you've requested the license, the account service representative will send your order to a customer support representative who will update your license permission key. You'll then need to download and install your firm's updated permission key that includes your new eSign license. In this video, I'll show you how to download and install your updated permission key and how to configure your firm to use CCH eSign. To download and install your updated permission key, browse to the folder where you've saved your most recent set of tax installation files after using the CCH Software Delivery Manager. In my video example, I used the CCH Software Delivery Manager to save my tax installation files to a folder named ProSystemFX Software. My most recent set of tax installation files is for version 2014.2031. When you've identified the folder that contains your most recent set of tax installation files, open the folder and click the setup.exe file to open the ProSystemFX installation dialog. Select the Internet Download Radio button on the dialog that opens and click OK. Enter your single sign-on credentials in the desktop login to internet dialog and click login. On the ProSystemFX installation dialog that opens, select the only update licensing from new permission key radio button and click OK. Click OK on the installation complete prompt. After you've installed your updated permission key, open Office Manager and select Configure Applications. When the Configure Application dialog opens, select eSign and click the Configure button to open the eSign Setup dialog. Enter the name and email address of your firm's eSign administrator in the fields on the eSign Setup dialog and click the Setup button. Click Close to save your changes. You've now configured your firm's ProSystemFX tax account to use CCH eSign. The next step is to enable your firm's office group or groups for CCH eSign. Return to the Office Manager Configure Applications dialog and select Tax and click the Configure button. Identify the target office group and select Electronic Filing Options from the Configure Tax Applications dialog. Select the Individual tab on the Electronic Filing Options dialog and check the Electronically Signed Authorization Forms checkbox to enable eSign for all of the individual returns in the target office group. As a best practice, also select the Enable eSign if State Returns Do Not Qualify checkbox to make eSign for Form 8879 available when states are present in the return that do not allow electronic signatures on the State Electronic Filing Authorization Form. Please note that as an alternative to enabling eSign globally in Office Manager, you can enable CCH eSign on a return by return basis on the General section of the electronic filing worksheet. Click OK to save your changes and complete the Enable eSign process. After you have configured your firm to use CCH eSign, your firm's eSign administrator will receive an email providing login credentials to the AssureSign website. AssureSign is CCH's partner for the administration of eSign accounts. Your firm's eSign administrator will log into the AssureSign site to create and manage your firm's eSign account users, customize the eSign user experience, and monitor eSign usage. I hope that you have found this video useful. Thanks for listening. 
For additional CCH training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.